Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Probably mostly gentlemen. <laughs> Anyways, this is Dr. Cobra here for the Nefarious League uh, IVE2 tournament. This is the finals round uh, between... Uh, there's going to be... It's round robin, so there will be three best of five series, I think. Or something like that. Anyways, uh, here this one is between Shmutna Rejeka. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And Rage Quitter. This is game four of our best of five series. Rage Quitter is up 2-1 in the series right now. Uh, so if he does win this game, he will take the series. And looks like he's building a forward pile on here. So anyways, this game is on Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, Rage Quitter won the last game. Smutna has gone fast layer every game. Uh, and kind of gone for some micro-intensive builds. Uh, has not played macro Zerg, which is really what most of Zerg players have been. But some of the most... Ooh, uh, some of the more famous Zerg players do, like Idra. Uh, so, let's see if he decides to change that this game. He is not getting out an early pool. Getting out the pool on 14, which is pretty common. I guess actually in the first game, Smutna did try to get that early expansion up. Rage Quitter did such a good job of blocking it that uh, Smutna had to change his mind. Uh, Rage Quitter, kind of in a strange place with his probe. Maybe he was going to go for this wall in at the bottom of the ramp, which is terribly, terribly annoying for Zerg. And he does get one pylon down, and he does get the second pylon down. Is that a complete ball? No, it's not a complete wall. I didn't think it was. So, but, uh, he's going to leave this drone right here so uh, there can't be a complete wall. So the forge is down for Rage Quitter. He was going to try to get this wall up and then get a cannon behind it. Uh, but not able to do that. But Smutna is scared to get that uh, expansion out. And a cannon goes down right there. See if there are any. There's no zerglings on the way, so Smutna has to pull these drones off the line. And I think these four drones are going to be able to take this cannon out before it does much damage. Uh, so Smutna again, when he tried to go for that expansion, yeah, it looks like this cannon is going to go down for this. He wanted to go for that early expansion, but he's been forced. Uh, Rage Quitters forced his hand, uh, so he's going for roaches instead. Looks like Rage Quitter is saving up for his own early expansion. And he does get that early expansion now. Let's see if uh, Smutna is able to punish him for it with these roaches. Uh, however, Smutna now going for his own expansion. So, some interesting play early. And looks like Rage Quitter is going to form a wall or a hook here, so. Any units would have to go all the way around to crawl up into the main. The cannons definitely have to get a couple of free shots off when they do. So the roaches are out for Smutna attacking these the pylons, so Rage Quitter is going to see the roaches. Let's see which expansion. Yeah, Rage Quitter's expansion is going to finish the roaches. So does Smutna know? He does not know that uh, there was an early expansion. So kind of in the dark here. Probably would need to scout that. Just to know if he can drone up or not. So he's getting a lair. Uh, not super fast, but kind of fast, I guess. Uh, last time he went lair with roaches, he did go for tunneling claws. Let's see if there's anything different this time. So Rage Quitter has completed his little hook right here. So any units wanting to go up in the main will have to go all the way around. Cybernetics Core just did finish. Looks like more roaches on the way for this one. And Rage Quitter getting a second gas out. I don't know if he's saving some of that Chrono Boost or just forgetting to use it. Uh, Got a zealot out, getting the stalker out. So Smutna is moving out a little bit with these roaches, and one of these roaches is like sliding. He hooked a ride onto the. There we go. <laughs> Let's 
strange little glitch there. So Smutnet does control both of these watchtowers. But if I'm not mistaken, okay, he did move in with this overlord a little bit. You can see that expansion. So at least he knows there's an expansion. Rage Quitter. Great building placement. I mean, the only way that you can get through is through this little area right here, and he's got some units here to block it. So really interesting play. Uh, and it looks like we have Roach Speed on the way for Smetna and a robotics facility coming down in the main for Rage Quitter. The only thing wrong with this type of placement is if Smetna... Oh, here he comes in with some Roaches. Hold that thought a minute. So, five Roaches. Looks like they're going to be able to do some damage. Almost sniped that Stalker. Two more roaches reinforcing and taking out one throw. Looks like Rage Quitter wants to draw him back so he has his photon can help him. Able to get another two degree probe. And looks like he's gonna, there he does lose the roach. And all these warp gates is turning, all these gateways turning into warp gates. So definitely on the way soon. Three stalkers, four more stalkers. Smutna trying to snipe out this warp gate and wisely backs off, but this overlord is going to go down. Roach is able to get a couple shots off. Wow. Take out a stalker for the expression of A lot of micro back and forth. Yeah, the stalker goes down, so six roaches to eight stalkers now. So. Looks like Smut this attack is gonna have to fall back for Smut. He is reinforcing his focus in that Still I don't think he's enough. He needs to pull these guys back. And he does. So let's look at the income right now. Fairly even, looks like a little bit of an advantage uh, in both minerals and resources for Rage Quitter. Uh, so this is a scary time for Smut no really. It'd be nice if he could get up a third hatchery. I mean, he does have quite a bit of extra minerals right now. Looks like main arting some more probes over here. Well, I guess that's not really main arting since this has been up for quite a while. Roaches are going to take out this rock so he can take this high yield, but all of a sudden a bunch of stalkers coming in. We had the infestation pit going down, so probably high tech coming out. These overlords are in a terrible spot. One goes down, not going to be able to take out the other. Looks like these Zerglings and Roaches are going to be able to push off these Stalkers. And right now, all we've seen from Rage Quitter are pretty much is Stalkers. You can see that Robotics there coming down. So it looks like a Colossus help here to come out soon. Uh, but Colossus actually aren't great against Mass Roaches, which is all we've seen. So and looks like another battle down here. Rage Quitter is, does have the advantage. Uh, but Smutna is able to reinforce much more easily down here. Able to take out a couple stalkers there, maybe just one. And down go the rocks. So we should see an expansion coming up here. Yep, there it is, almost immediately. And this is really what Smutna needs to stay in this game. Uh, he needs to be able to defend this. And here comes some more stalkers. Uh, not gonna attack yet, just gonna camp out. And it looks like he wants to place down a forward pylon. Kind of hiding it over here, uh, just in case there's a third base up here. Should be out of the way. And Smutna is getting burrow and uh, speed for the Zerglings. And there's some, at least one of them. Coming out for Rage Quitter. The Zerglings are going to come here to do a little scouting. Run right past. He is going to see that Rage Quitter is looking for a third base. So, both players just kind of macroing up. Not really doing anything at the moment. So there's the first Immortal Owl for Rage Quitter, and Immortals are so, so good against, uh, well, rocks for one thing, but uh, against roaches. And an Ultralisk Cavern coming out for Smudna. So if he does get enough Ultras out, uh, they're going to be able to plow through these, these Stalkers quite easily. 
looks like the Zerglings did run by. Um, let's see if they're able to do any damage up here in the main. Probably not, because Zealots are going to be able to take Just kind of attacking a random pylon. And it looks like Smutna is coming down, checking for this expansion down here. No, he's not. Oh, this gold is probably going to go down. He doesn't have anything to defend. He's really out of position. The gold goes down. All these drones going to have to retreat. Broodlings doing their best. Very angry that someone killed their hatchery. So, I definitely think Rage Quitter has an army advantage right now. But these five, five Ultralists on the way for Uh If those five Ultralists get out before Rage Quitter attacks, I think Rage is in some trouble here. He did take out these rocks, but he hasn't gone for his own gold expansion. Zergling's kind of trying to delay. Oh, engaging, but Force field's going off. Not great, but they're going to help a little bit. And only one that does get pushed around there for a second. Able to push Rachel with a back. And five ultras have spawned for at least, I don't know the fifth one is. And two more. Oh, there he is. He just popped. So, uh, Smutna able to push Rage Quitter back. He is going to burrow these roaches. Regenerates the health pretty quickly. The cannon coming down for the detection of Rage Quitter. Looks like these roaches wanted to jump up and. Here comes the ultras, that is quite a few ultras. I'm lagging. Oh, I apologize. Anyways, the ultras have come into battle. This is a really tight spot for Rage Quitter. These ultras are going to be able to take out the Rage Quitter. Can we cancel that? Uh, I don't know if we cancel it or not. And looks like these ultras have turned the tide for Smutna. Rage Quitter is definitely on the defensive right now. He does have out a Colossus, uh, which will be able to help deal with these Zerglings. Um, but Ultralists are armored, and Colossus, well, they do 50, I guess 30 still, but there's a lot of health in these Ultras. That's going to take quite a few shots from those uh, Colossus to kill these. So Smutna is, is taking his third base again. Should be able to hold this easily. Kind of surprised he's not going for a double expand right now, actually. Does have more Ultralist popping. And he's up to 147 on the field while Rage Quitter is at 122, so he does have a pretty good advantage right now. Um, 